Well, hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm going to show you how I record with my iGrabber with the iGrabber software. So the icon is going to look like this. And after you click on it, there's going to be all this up here. So click. I had no idea what I was doing when I first opened this. So go to Digitizers and then iGrabber. And it's going to pull up your iGrabber. Make sure your iGrabber is plugged into your TV and plugged into the USB slot. Well, everybody knows that. And um, so you can see you have your thing there. Then I usually go to get a custom size. If you want to go to YouTube, 720 by 480. And if you want to um, see, you go to video settings. You can go to adjustments. You can just like, do whatever you want with these. Um, you can do something like that if you want. Compression. I I go to MPEG four best frame rate and the quality at best source uh, S video if you're using composite then it'll probably automatically switch to composite but if not you can go there this is if your TV is offset you can um change it like you can tell the black on like right here you want it to the side my TV is not offset so that auto detect input and format okay and sound settings, you can pretty much leave these be, unless you want to, um, you know, do some, uh, unless you don't want the background music from the for the game and you want to do like a uh, some commentary, you can do, whoa, whoa, you can do, <laughs> you can use your internal microphone. Okay, don't do that. Uh if you're not using your microphone, I would do, I'll click off by recording because it will make a terrible echo like that. So I wouldn't do that. Frame rate, this is gonna all just stay the same. And to record finally. So you can either press the button on your eye grabber to record, or you can do command arm and you can also do record duration. Like if I was going to for YouTube, just put ten minutes, five seconds, press OK. Let's name this Halo three. <laughs> Okay, and your movie is being recorded. So you just play. Now it's gonna be really laggy on your screen, like right, like right there. But um, it's really not gonna be. It's really gonna be smooth when it comes out. So just play on your TV. I wouldn't recommend like looking at your t your ugh, computer screen and playing because then it's gonna be laggy and you're not gonna be able to play. So I'd recommend getting some splitters. That's good. So just play, and then this box right here, gonna click inside of it. Your movie has been recorded. So here's the movie. See, it's smooth. It is not laggy like it was. So there you go. That's pretty much all you need to know. I mean, it's pretty much like from there you can figure everything else out. So then you just put this in iMovie, or if you don't want to put it in iMovie, you just upload it right to YouTube if you want to. So there you go. Okay, I hope this helped you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.